Greetings, it's New Zealand naturopath Eric Backer. Thanks for tuning into my video today. We're going to talk about Nystatin today. What is Nystatin? How does it work as an antifungal? So Nystatin is really a pharmaceutical or a medical treatment for yeast infections. It was discovered in the 1950s by two American researchers. Uh, interesting that like a lot of antifungals and antibacterial uh, you know, drugs, they're sourced from bacteria. That's how they originally, uh, you know, experiments are made on bacteria. And a particular Streptomyces uh, bacteria, uh, Streptomyces norsi, was isolated in 1950. And in 1954, these two ladies, uh, lady researchers, developed uh, this drug called Nystatin. And it was named after the, the New York State uh, Laboratory, you know, where this, this drug was originally uh, isolated and then later developed. So... I'm not a big fan of Nystatin for many different reasons. Dr. William Crook, who wrote The Yeast Connection in the 1980s, was a fan of Nystatin. And in fact, uh, he even used drugs like Nizarail, or stronger kind of drugs like that, and said as long as these drugs are provoking symptoms in people, uh, keep taking them in higher and higher dosages to ensure a good kill with Candida, which is completely contrary to the way I work today. I don't really like, you know, creating huge kill things in people because it just pisses a lot of people off. It makes them sick and creates lots of die-off, which you don't want. So Candida works by, uh, Nystatin works basically by disrupting the cell membrane of the of the yeast. So it opens up and interferes with the cell membrane, allows the contents to spill out, and the immune system can then attack it. It's very effective. There's no doubt about it. It is effective. And it works on various Candida strains. But the problem with this is uh, people can develop very strong side effects. The die-off can be extremely severe with Nystatin, and so can the allergies. So those are the two concerns I have with it, the allergic response that patients can have to it, even anaphylaxis, and also the severe Herxheimer or die-off reaction they get from it. I try and liken, and I, in my book I explain this, I liken it to uh, being in an oil tanker, okay, taking Nystatin. <clears throat> so I try and understand this, that, Let's just say you're in charge of a large oil tanker that weighs, you know, hundreds of thousands of tons, one of those massive big oil tankers, and all of a sudden you're trying to accelerate this ship and go faster and faster. Now, anyone who understands anything about velocity, you know, uh, weight and velocity, if you've got a huge big ship going at a high speed and you want to get dock that ship into port, you know, many miles out, you've got to slow down way, way out in the ocean because the inertia of that weight keeps on going for quite a long time, doesn't it? And if you don't slow down, I saw a great YouTube clip of a tanker coming into dock and it literally demolished the whole dock because the guy hadn't put on the brakes, you know, six miles out of port, okay? So point I'm making is here, if you take uh, half a million units of Nystatin three times per day, you know, which is not unusual, you're creating an inertia, you're creating a huge amount of activity in the body, you're killing a lot of candida potentially killing an incredible amount. So now what happens is over a period of several hours to days, all these cells start dying off, opening up, releasing their contents, and then the immune system starts attacking the contents. Okay, so this is going to create a reaction. The contents gets attacked and creates these what we call circulating immune complexes, which get further attacked. You get a double whammy. You get this almost like a, a chain reaction occurring inside the body where you're feeling not so good, you're feeling bad, you're feeling like crap, you're feeling terrible, you're feeling really bad. Okay? So the inertia is too strong. This happens a lot with antifungals in general. People often take too much too soon. Go slowly when you take an antifungal, especially a powerful one like Nystatin. All right? It's too strong. Uh, for many people to take in large doses for a short period of time. I've had too many patients on Skype, uh, on the phone, or the email, or even face-to-face -face in my room, they got very, very sick on Nystatin. I've had the same with people on Lufineuron, uh, people violently ill, even going to, accident, to the emergency ward in hospitals with Lufineuron, vomiting and diarrhea and all sorts of things. Now, all the people... Uh, who, who peddle these products will say to the contrary. But I see them in my room and I see them on Skype and I talk to them. They're not going to come out there and, and put their face in a, in a YouTube video like I am and talk about their experiences. A lot of people are embarrassed to talk about these things. But they do get you know very sick from these products. So be careful with the Nystatin. It's not my favorite uh, drug, drug of choice to use. Okay, It is used sometimes also for vaginal yeast infections and for skin infections. When used um, very cautiously, I think it has its place.
but I much prefer to use a natural antifungal. I think you're going to get a lot better result with that and more broad spectrum result than you are with Nystatin, which purely targets yeasts. Taking a product which only targets yeasts is a stupid thing to do when you've got Candida. You want to take something that targets bacteria, fungi, and yeasts, okay? Because people with Candida have always got that combination of things. So I hope that answers your uh, question about Nystatin. Thanks for tuning in.